All right, the first thing you're going to do uh, is you are, you're going to want to use iTunes to create a playlist of all the tracks in your tuning sequence. And in my case, I have um, a little countdown, a three minute countdown, and then the A string starts. So you can see, um, I'll go ahead and play it for you. The tuning sequence will commence in three minutes. Okay, and then it'll go A string, A string, and D string. So my tuning sequence playlist is all set up and I've named it tuning, se tuning sequence. So what we want to be able to do uh, is to start this playlist at a certain time and we're going to have our computer do it automatically for us. We're going to be using a program called Automator. Automator um, uh, can, as it says, automate different things on your computer. In this case, we're going to automate the launching of that iTunes playlist that we just created. So the first thing we're going to do in Automator is we're going to create a new document and we're actually creating an application. This is where you can double click on the icon and it will do what we want it to do. And in this case, we're going to have it launch that iTunes play, launch iTunes and play a playlist. So the first thing we're going to add um, and, and most important is if you've been using your computer and you turn the volume way down and all of a sudden you um, maybe you want to have your students tuning um, the computer volume's too low, they're not going to be able to hear that. So first thing we have to do is um, create the application and then we're going to set computer volume. You can set the computer volume to whatever you want. In this case, I'll kind of make it higher. The second thing we're going to do um, is we're going to use the actions in iTunes um, to set the iTunes volume because remember that there are two levels of volume uh, controls, one for the computer volume which you know is like this and then the second one is within iTunes over here. So I'm going to turn it down so you can see what happens later. But we're going to set it to come up. And the third thing we need to do is we need to um, find an iTunes item. And you can have it find a track or a playlist. We're going to have it find a playlist. Um, the playlist, as we already called it, it's going to it's, uh, find a playlist where all the following are true. The name is tuning sequence. Then finally, once we found the playlist, then we're going to have to play the playlist. So we're going to start, uh, we're going to play iTunes playlist. We'll drag that action into the, the mix. And so now Automator will set our computer volume. I'm going to turn it down so you can see exactly how that's going to work. Um, it's going to set our iTunes volume to here. It's going to find the tuning sequence playlist and it's going to play it. So all I have to do now is I have to save my Automator application. Play tuning sequence app, we'll just call it, or playlist app. So it's going to play the tuning sequence playlist and it's an app and we'll save it to the desktop. And once I do that, um, we're going to hit save. And you can see that I have that app right here. It looks like the little robot, but it's an application. I can double click on it and it will automatically set my computer volume. Right now it's soft. It's going to set my iTunes volume and it's going to play that playlist. Let's see if it works. The tuning sequence will commence in three minutes. Okay. Three notice, minutes. Notice the volume of my iTunes. Notice the volume of my computer is up and um, I'm ready to go. So that's all it takes is uh, to use Automator to, cr to uh, trigger or start an iTunes playlist. In the next video, I'll show you how to schedule this app to launch using iCal.